success rate of university students in South Africa. What is the population? University students in South Africa, right? Because I want to look at their success rate. How am I going to do that? The population is big and it's all over. There are, I think, 14, 15 public universities and then there are some private universities, so a total of about 23 universities in South Africa. And they offer postgrad and undergrad programs. So I've got a whole list of. Then I put together something that is manageable, which I call the sample frame. That is, from the population, a list of elements of the population that I can get hold of and that I can number. So maybe I'm going to say I'm taking face-to-face uh, -face universities and use them and all the students on campus, but I need a sample frame which are the elements of the population that I can get hold of. Out of the sample frame, I've got to take a sample. Why do I need a sample? Is it okay not to use a sample? Of course it is. If you're able to use the whole of the population, please do so. Why? Because it's more information. The more, the better. It's the opposite of eating. In eating, it's always the less, the better. But in the case of sampling, the more, the better. You want your sample to be as big as you can have it. So if your sample is actually the population, that's perfect. That's perfect. Which is what a census does. In South Africa, every once in a blue moon, we do a census. Then we try and get hold of every element in the population to determine uh, characteristics of the population for planning. And they really try and get to every element. That's a census. But it's not always possible to get hold of all the elements of the population. <coughs> Let's say you are the marketing director of a company selling these small Ever Ready batteries, AA batteries. And you're telling your clients that our Ever Ready batteries last for 60 days from the moment you switch the device on until the batteries die, on average 60 days. If you were in the US of A, where there is competitive and comparative marketing, your competitor will take your batteries, go test them, and in their advertisement say, in contrast to ever ready, our batteries actually last much longer. But how will they do that? Because company C will look at these two and say, uh uh, you bloody liars, you're both wrong. How will they do that? Because if I went to Ever Ready and I said, yo, I want to make sure that this is actually the truth. Can I just go into your factory? I have these little rabbits here, I'm going to hold flashlights. I'm going to put your batteries into the flashlights, switch them on, and see how long they last. What am I doing with the inventory? I'm destroying the inventory. So there are many examples where if you use the full population, you're destroying all the elements of the population. So you've got to take a sa sample. Or the elements of the population are so widely dispersed, it's going to take you years to get hold of all of them. Or it's going to be very expensive to fly around and get to all the places where the elements of the population are. So for various reasons, it's better, rather than to use the population, to sample elements out of the population. So long as you ensure that the sample is representative of the population and as big as you can make it. Because you want to use the sample elements for these sample statistics. You want to use them to say something about the population. Because in quantitative statistics, in quantitative research, it is about generalization, it's about reliability. So to what extent can I provide this, the theory of everything? And that theory of everything comes from ensuring 
that the sample that I need to draw, because I need, can't get hold of all the elements of the population, is as representative as possible. And I remember it was you who asked me earlier on about how do you do that. There are different ways of drawing a sample, but you've got to decide up front what would be the population, what is the sample frame, which is the list of identifiable elements I can get to out of the population, and how will I draw the sample. And by tomorrow we'll talk about sampling techniques themselves. Right.